Hi everyone, it's Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate number of rise and trades for l shaped staircase. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all the videos from Civil Engineering Tutorials. Also like this video in case you find it helpful. So let's get started. So this is the l shaped staircase and this is the side elevation of this staircase. So I have already prepared this in pre previous video. Now in this video, I will show you how to calculate number of rise and trades for this l shaped staircase. So let's get started. So first of all, what is trade? The horizontal space where we rest the foot while climbing is known as trade. Means from top view we can see trades. You can see here this is the horizontal line. So the horizontal line is trade. You can see this horizontal line. Okay. And the vertical line is rise and the horizontal line is trade. Means on plan we can see only trades. Okay. The horizontal lines where we rest the foot while climbing is known as trades. Okay. Now what is riser? The vertical distance between two treads is known as riser. So you can see here, this is the riser. The vertical distance, here one tread, this is another tread. So vertical distance between two treads is known as riser. So this is between two treads, we have one riser. Okay. This is the vertical distance between two treads. Okay. This is one tread, this is one tread. So between two treads, this is one riser. Okay. Now what is total trade or total run? The total horizontal length except landing is known as total trade or total run. Means total staircase length minus landing is total trade. Okay. So we need to deduct landing from total staircase length to get total trade or total run. Okay. So trade is this is the horizontal space. Now riser is the vertical Distance between two trades is riser. Now the total horizontal length except landing means total staircase length minus landing is total trade. Okay. So let's start our calculation. So first I'll calculate number of riser. So to calculate number of riser we need to assume height of the riser. So there is no specific rule that riser height should be this much. Okay. In some staircase riser is taken as 5 inch. Sometimes 6 inch or sometimes 7 inch. According to the building type, the riser height may be increased or decreased. For example, in residential building, riser height may be taken as 6 inch. But generally, in hospital, the riser may be taken as 5 inch because the ill and sick people can climb the staircase without using their full energy. So, in hospitals, the riser may be certain. For easy access. Okay. So hope you understand why we assume the riser height. So here building height is 10 feet and 6 inch. Okay. Building height is 10 feet and 6 inch. Now riser height means desired unit rises 6 inch. We need to assume this. Now staircase length is 11 feet for one flight. Okay. 11 feet for 1 flight. Now landing is 3 feet and 6 inch. Okay. So this is the L set staircase. In this staircase we have 2 flights. Okay. This is 1 flight. This is the landing. Okay. So this staircase 2 flights are separated by a square set landing and drawn at right angles to each other. Okay. So this is the this is one flight. This is another flight. Okay. So landing is 3 feet and 6 inch. Okay. This is a square shaped landing. This angle is 90 degrees. Okay. So landing is 3 feet and 6 inch. This side is 3 feet and 6 inch. This side also 3 feet and 6 inch. This is a square shaped landing. Okay. Now. So number of rises. Height of building divided by desired unit rise. Means height of rise okay so height of building is 10 feet and 6 inch divided by desired unit rise 6 inch so we have 21 numbers of rise okay 
So rise are 21 numbers of rise we have. Now we need to calculate number of trades. So number of trades trade is number of rise minus 1. So 21 minus 1 we have 20 numbers of trades. Okay rise is 21 numbers. Now trade is number of rise minus 1. 21 minus 1 20 numbers of trades. Okay. So now we need to calculate length of one trade okay length of one trade is total trade divided by number of trades so we, we don't have total trade we need to calculate total trade now so total trade is staircase length i have already told staircase length minus landing okay so this side we have two flights so this side 11 feet this side also 11 11 feet okay so in this staircase two flights run at right angles to each other means two these two flights are connected with e with each other with 90 degrees this angle is 90 degree okay this is a square shaped landing okay that means we have to deduct landing from both side staircase length means both side flights means from this 11 feet we need to deduct 3 feet and 6 inches from this 11 feet we need to deduct again 3 feet and 6 inches okay so this is 11 feet minus 3 feet and 6 inches plus this 11 feet minus 3 feet and 6 inches to get this total trade. Okay. So total staircase length is 11 feet plus 11 feet. So 11 feet minus 3 feet and 6 inches plus 11 feet minus 3 feet and 6 inches. Okay. From, so this is 11 feet minus this 11 feet minus 3 feet and 6 inch plus this 11 feet minus 3 feet and 6 inch okay hope you understand so this is 6.5 feet plus 6.5 feet so total trade is 15 feet okay so 15 feet is total trade now we need to calculate length of one trade that is total trade divided by number of trades so total trade we have calculated 15 feet divided by number of trades 20 so we are getting 9 inch okay so, one trade length is 9 inch. Okay. So, 9 inch is the length of one trade. Now, we need to calculate number of trades. So, number of trades for one flight is total number of trades divided by 2. Okay. So, this staircase contains two flights. So, number of trades for one flight, total number of trades divided by 2. So, total number of trades, 20 numbers. So, 20 divided by 2. 2 okay so we have 10 numbers of trades for one flight okay for one flight we have 10 numbers of trades so number of rise 21 numbers number of trades 20 numbers now total trade 15 feet trade 9 inch one trade length 9 inch now number of trades for one flight 10 numbers okay so total number of riser 21 numbers okay and number of trades total number of trades 20 numbers okay so total number of riser 21 numbers that means we need to provide 11 numbers of riser in one flight and 10 numbers of riser in another flight okay so this is the drawing file i saw here this is the staircase this is the L sub staircase. Okay. So you can see this is the plan. On plan, we can see the top view, means we can see trades here. So here we have 20 numbers of trades 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This side also 10 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. So 20 numbers of Trades we can see here from top view this is the plan. So from top view we can see trades. Now this is the elevation. So on elevation we can see the riser of this light and on this light we can see riser and on this light we can see both riser and trades. Okay. This side we can see both riser and trades. Now you can see here. This is riser and this is trade. You can see this is riser 6 inch. 
okay and this is tray 9 inch okay in this side we can see both now this is riser 6 inch this side we can see only riser okay so here both we can, we can see both riser and trays okay now here we have 10 numbers of trays in one flight okay see 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 numbers of trays now here 11 numbers of riser we can see here so 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 numbers of rise okay now total riser 21 numbers means this side this side 11 numbers and in another flight we have 10 numbers of riser 10 plus 11 21 numbers of riser let's see here here 11 numbers of riser now here I'll show you here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. 11 numbers of riser. Okay. Now, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 numbers of riser. Okay. This is the last thread. You can see this is the building height 10 feet and 6 inch. Okay, this is the roof slab. Okay, this is here to here. This is the roof slab. Four, four inch. Okay, this is not the riser. Riser is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the last riser. Okay, eleven numbers of riser. This side ten numbers of riser. Total twenty one numbers of riser. This is the roof slab level. Okay, 4 inch. This is here to here. This is roof slab. Okay, this is not riser. This is our last tread. This is our last tread, 9 inch. Okay, this is also 9 inch tread. Okay, so this side 11, this side 10. Total 21 numbers of riser. And number of riser minus 1, total 20 numbers of Trades. Okay. So, hope you understand. This side we have 21 numbers of riser, and this slide we have 10 numbers of riser. So, total number of riser 21 number. Okay. And total number of trades 20 number. Okay. So, hope you understand how to calculate number of rise and trade. So, if you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.